food in speech, yet not in knowledge. Now, interpret that. Be careful of that battery. That one's messed up. Hey. So, uh, try not to. What did you read? Oh, yeah, read that again. The second word is 11 and 6. Because actually, when you, when you research Paul's words in the Greek, he was using Greek cuss words. Actually. Now, read that. But though. I'd be Jesus rude. But do I need to do I do, do I need to look at a dictionary and look up the word rude? Okay. You pretty much know what the word rude means, right? You grew up in a damn Saudi. You know what I'm saying? But you though I be rude speaking in speaking speech, Hebrew? come on, yet man. Not in the knowledge. mountains are in Lebanon. You can't speak Hebrew in Lebanon. So that's like a king named Herod living in Saudi Arabia. Herod? Herod lived in Jerusalem. Pilate in Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabia is way south. You don't know Saudi nothing. Arabia? Have you ever seen Come a map on, man. before, bro? Come on. I've seen plenty of maps before. Yeah, you gone, bro. Thousands of maps. you yeah. gone. Here you what go. What you saying is they were speaking he Hebrew. He said Lebanon Jesus is in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Jesus ain't speak no dang on Hebrew. <laughs> Who right. don't speak Hebrew? We can, we can, we, we, man, we study this Bible hey, with Hebrew. He's studying the Bible with the Bible Latin, Latin, written for you, Greek. man. Bible definitely wasn't written for you. Here you go. First Corinthians two and one. You know what they said that about the Lord too. They called the Lord a devil. Hey, hey, me, that's you know they called the Lord a hey, devil. Hey, hey, maybe I'm right, right? If that's Acts, what you're me, Acts right? twenty-six maybe and I'm fourteen. Right. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue, in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul. Why persecutest hey, thou me? What? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. <laughs> That's red He's letter. kicking against the pricks right now. You hey, kicking hey, against the pricks. Hey, hey, man, hey, if I'm a prick, you're a prick. You're a reflection of me, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm hey, uh, hey, 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 if hey, you call me a prick, that means that you're acting like a prick too, right? First Corinthians exactly. 2 and 1. Read Proverbs. And I. Proverbs 15, 1. That's what I want to hear. First Corinthians two and one. That's in the Bible. And I, brother, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declared unto you the testimony of the Most High. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Jesus Christ and Him crucified. That's God. And I was with you in wishes and in fear. Ain't nothing else, God. And in much trembling, and my speech, you know, you know, and my Everyone preaching, was not like with so enticing God words. Enticing no, words is speaking smoothly. You know and man's wisdom. Live your life to the fullest. Yeah, yeah. Polit but yeah, politicians never yeah. cuss today. No, no. They kill no, all kinds of people. I got a scripture for you. Ecclesiastes 10 and 13. Oh, you know, yeah. The beginning of the words of his mouth is foolishness, <laughs> and the end of his talk is mischievous madness. A fool also is full of words. <laughs> Let me read that again for the top. What did that must go by? I'll just read it again. Oh, this guy is gone. Hey, you gotta ignore him. Like Ecclesiastes. Okay. I got this. Hey, bro, I got a scripture for you. I got a scripture for you. I got it. I'm about to read it. Look, Ecclesiastes 10 or 3. Yea, also, when he that is a fool walketh by the way, his wisdom balances him. And he saith to everyone that he is a fool. I'm serious, man. You're a fool. If I'm a fool, you a fool, right? Right? We fools for the Lord's sake. Right? We fools for the Lord's sake. Y'all fools for the Lord. Yeah, we are fools, but we fools for the Lord. Hey, I'm a fool for the Lord's sake. You're a fool for Satan. Hey, I'm a fool for the Lord's sake. Oh, you a fool for Satan, right? 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 No, no, you told me that. I didn't know you're a liar. That wasn't my words. We got it. I asked you we if you read it. about the council of Nicaea. Oh, oh, we don't know about the council of Nicaea. He said, Paul. That's, I didn't say that's when it was written. That's when it was formulated and put together. Oh, right? what you got, bro? Council of Nicaea, 325 AD. 325 AD. But you said, Paul, we got you on camera saying Paul lived during the time of Constantine. Hey, you're going to be an internet sensation, too. 325 AD, Paul and Constantine. You're going to be an internet sensation, too. Check it out. Check First it out. Corinthians 16, 17. Proverbs 15, now I beseech you, brethren, so mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine of 
cussed at me. Y'all done said all kinds of shit to me. And I ain't never acted that way. But today, I'm acting like y'all motherfuckers. For they that are set serve not our Lord Christ before, but their own belly. Because y'all don't even believe that shit. And by good words and fair speeches. By good words. He's trying to say good words and fair speeches to her. By good words and fair speeches to her. Or set serve not our hey, Lord, right. Christ, serve not the Lord, but their hey, own belly, but your own belly. And back hey, so you only believe, believe in the Psalm of this book. The problem is, is you, you can't serve. The whole. You said you hey, believe in the Psalm of this book. Hey, hey, you looking at you the believe in Psalm of this book? You looking at the Psalm? You don't even know me. You know what I'm saying? I could be anybody. We know you're a fool. We know you think I'm a fool. We know you're a fool. You think I'm a fool. You think I'm a fool. First Corinthians 16 and 18. For they that set Proverbs for they. That are set serve not our Lord Christ, but their own belly, but his own belly, and by good words, by good words, and fair speeches. But he said we ain't talking nothing good, right? Read that again. By good words, which is in the Bible that you hold. But their own belly, and by good words, and fair speeches, deceive the heart of the simple. Proverbs 15. Read it. Read it. I ain't practicing read it. right now. Go get your own Bible. Hey, I, I got three of them at the crib. Three of them. Three of them. Three of them. got furniture. Three of them. No, that's my wife has does. one. <laughs> my wife has he one. He went in the battle. My son has and one. He left his rifle at home. Right, right, right. right. Huh? And it's you, no, I read my Bible every day. And it don't see, and, and it, the message that y'all get on Proverbs 6 to 12. A naughty person. It don't matter. A so wicked man. Y'all are interpreting the scripture. Walketh with a religion, forward like mouth. Like every religion. He got a forward mouth. Like every religion. He winketh with his like eyes. every religion. He speaketh with his feet. He teaches with his fingers. Hey, that sound like y'all to me? He teaches with his fingers. Don't that sound like y'all? Don't that sound like y'all? No, this sounds like you. This sound like y'all. This sound like you. This sound just like y'all. See, and then you turn around and now you're trying to... Ecclesiastes 10 and 13. The beginning of the words of his mouth is foolishness. You really believe that? And the end of his talk is mischievous madness. So now you're using the Bible to push people down. You Proverbs did. That's what do. 10 and 8. Let's step on people. The wise in heart will receive commandments, but a praising on, fool on, shall man. fall. Yeah, yeah, hey, you're going to fall. You, you're the yeah, Nephilim. Hey, hey, you know That's me. That's the right? Nephilim right there. Dude, right? The fall Am I a terrible dude? <laughs> no, no, these motherfuckers is terrible. Oh, now we motherfuckers. Now we motherfuckers. Hey, 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 last time I was at a conversation with y'all, I was all kidding. He that walketh uprightly walketh surely. But he that perverteth his, his way shall be known. So you know what I'm away. You he that weakens hey, with the eye causes yep, sorrow. Sure but a pretty fool me, shall am, fall. I am that I am because God said it. <laughs> and you are too, brother. We ain't You're brothers. Reflection of we ain't brothers. brothers. Yes, we, we ain't brothers. brothers. No, no, we're yes, not we brothers. are brothers. No, we we're, we're not brothers. brothers. We connected to a soul tie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. From the mountain and shit. This is good practice. This is Romans. Don't, don't ask Nine like and y'all when y'all talk to people. Do not like as not though sound like the word of the Most High has taken no effect. Fifteen one. Read that. Romans. Read that. Six and six. Read that. Read that. Not as though the word of the Most High has taken no effect. I'm not their brother. For they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. They are not of Israel. That are no, I'm not of Israel. I'm of America. This is where the fuck I was born at. Oh, so you just sent from America hey. past future? I just came from a... Hey, that's your I came, hey, I came out of hey, a mother's He said, womb. he got no kick, he got no kick. He said, he said he's this, American. This is much about my existence. You I didn't know here. Listen, you know what I'm saying? I came out of a mama's womb. You didn't ask me to be here. We don't care if people listen to us. Where is your So the best thing to do is to work together. Very. Y'all yeah, motherfuckers no, don't do that. Y'all just step on people every time. Like I'm like him, he ain't talking about him. That's exactly what y'all do. <laughs> do the spirit. Yeah, yeah. The spirit. He knows everybody, don't he? Thank you, Lord. But it's in the scripture. Well, I've read the scripture over You know what I mean? Hallelujah. 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 Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Amen. Uh, the wicked fleeth, and no man pursueth. You know, that's what the scripture says. The wicked fleeth, and no man pursueth. The scripture always says, resist the devil, and he shall flee from you. My devil. Yeah. They gonna get arrested and pulled over now. They got to be worse than that. Especially, especially, yeah, it's yeah. bad. Yeah. I'm, I'm, thank the Lord. I was yeah, praying to the Lord. He was taking away. Yeah. 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 Resist the devil, he shall fall. <laughs> I, I, yeah, but I don't like yelling at the top of my lungs, even though you got some. You can't sometimes. edify that way because it's causing confusion. God, that's confusing. You know? That's, let me read this scripture again because. 
No, we couldn't hear this because he wouldn't shut the hell up. Ecclesiastes 10 and 13. The beginning of his words of his mouth is foolishness, and the end of his talk is mischievous madness. Not scripture. A fool also is full of words. A man cannot tell what shall be and what shall be after him. Who can tell him? You can't okay. tell him nothing. I'm asking one person to give me one thing he said to edify you. One he, thing he said that edified anyone. He said the Apostle Paul lived during the time of Constantine. <laughs> but we're but you wrong. Said That's nuts. To edify anyone either. No. What? You haven't said anything that. So we edified. read the scriptures ain't edifying enough for you? Okay, but you use the scripture and your interpretation to be. No, no, no. The, the scriptures of no scriptures is of no private time. interpretation. You know, there are well, no private interpretation, interpretation. because they're teaching a lie. They're, they're interpreting it in this way. Hey, get that good, uh, good, good, good uh, Romans 16 again. Bring it out again. And get uh, what oh, you that's, got? That's, get Isaiah that's, 30 and uh, That's it. That's what. Because people always get offended. Uh, we say motherfucking one time. Oh, it's Satan. Well, we already read the scripture. Look, we can this is why they killed right. the prophets. Because you know, they was going hard. They was going, was going out going to hard. the cities and telling people about their wickedness, man. But they and they fucking killed but they, them, man. But they listen to Lil Wayne right, all day, right. and that's cool to listen to that. Yeah, why do you think? Sit in front of the porn, sit in front of a computer watching porn, porn all day. You know what I'm saying? Engage in adultery. Right, but why yeah, think by the way we speak. Right. Oh, who's Jonah? Jonah didn't want to go to, what was that? Nineveh. He didn't want to go to Nineveh. Because he knew if he went and prophesied against it, they would kill him. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Because he wasn't right. coming at him with that, oh, I you, love you, I love you, I love you. They was being wicked. My brother. My right, brother. I'm not saying you're not, you're not, not supposed to do that. Okay, you tell people the error of the way, you tell them what they can do. That's why they killed him. We already marked that fool. We're marking all these people. Every, we're marking everybody anyway. And I just Whether read, they like I just how the read, message is coming out or not. Letters. The Lord likes how it's coming out because if it would have been back in the 60s, we would have been killed. Now look at us. This is the time of the Lord. So the Lord so said, you think the Lord likes you calling people motherfuckers. He likes us call, you say, I heard you call them women. You talk down to people, you call people that the Lord, the, the Lord is a man of war. Lord. What's Lord, that mean? So you the Lord talked down to people. The, Bible that tell you to be the Lord, I'm the Lord is a man of war. What kind of man is that? Let me read a scripture real quick. The Bible don't deal with emotions. Let me read a scripture. Regardless, it don't care about nobody's emotions. That spirit's not. To tell me, care about nobody's emotions. Well, I'm saying that y'all haven't done anything to give anybody any. Well, we know that's because they can't receive it. That's right. That people can you don't get it. If you don't get it, then oh, oh well. The Lord said many are called, but few are chosen. He said only few are chosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. So I guess he's looking down on the people that ain't chosen. Listen to this. Matthew 23 and 33. This is all red letters. You know what that means. This is what the Lord said to some Israelites, his own people. He said, ye serpents, ye generation of vipers, how can ye escape the damnation of hell? He's cursing people out right there. He I called them names. He was talking to the Pharisees. Man. They're Israelites. He was Pharisees, the Pharisees were Israelites. They were the Pharisees were Israelites. Yeah, I know that. They were okay. misinterpreting what he was Check saying. This exactly, out. just like that fool was misinterpreting. Check you guys out. don't think you're misinterpreting I'll say, that? We can. We can. We can. We're prophets. You can't. Have. We can't do the prophets, what? the prophets of old is the same prophets now. So we can't interpret it wrong. He, the, door, the Lord chose us to get out here and do this. So we can't do it wrong. So here we go. Isaiah 30 and 9. This is a rebellious people, lying children, talking, children. Talking about Israel. Israel is, got a rebellious spirit. It has ever since the beginning. As soon as the Lord delivered Israel, out uh, from from the hand of the Pharaoh and threw them to the Red Sea. They was complaining, saying they want to go back to Egypt. After witnessing the Lord's power. So read that again. Children, th that this is a rebellious people, lying children, a liar. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. They don't want to listen to the law of the Lord. Which say to the seers, see not. Well, we're seers. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things don't speak anything that's correct keep going speak unto us smooth things smooth things you got to speak smooth and use them little soft sweet words like joe osteen <laughs> never curse never use a bad word prophesy deceit Pro they want us to be deceitful they want us to, they want us to teach nothing but good stuff this is the bible we're, we're not here. prosperity preachers there is going to be no prosperity okay, there's going to be death that. My question is okay, how let me go to the new testament people? because jesus people in the way that they can understand. Let me read it again. But he didn't choose oh, everybody to understand this. Let me read it Two again. Two thirds of these people. Jesus, Jesus gave his word to a whore. He gave his word to anybody. That, that whore stopped being a whore though. Right, so it's <laughs> yeah, you know, right. There's he a did, big he difference. Said, it did he, difference. To he told her right. to stop being a hoe. He said stop, he said sin no more. Here you exactly. go. He told her that she was sinning. 
But let me read. Yes. Said, I'm going to read what Jesus said again. Right. And his real name is Yahweh Shah. It's not Jesus. Right. Ye serpents. This is Matthew 23 and 33. Yahweh Shah. Ye serpents. Ye generation of vipers. Gen he said, you're all y'all. The whole generation. That's all you, of them. All of them. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. Oh, yeah. He, he said, this is a wicked and adulterous generation. But one third in that 144,000, they're forgiven of their sins. Two thirds are not forgiven of their sins. So, in other words, they've been blocked. That angel is around here blocking your mind from receiving the truth, from understanding the truth. It, it ain't for everybody. It just causes it's right. Because it's just not for them. Because the Lord's not dealing with them. Let me read this real quick. Romans, this is uh, Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel, Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for. Now, Israel always claiming they're looking for some uh, wisdom, knowledge, yeah, and understanding. Yeah, they want that wisdom, in the churches, you know, yeah. all the way up at the mosque, hanging out with Louis Farrakhan's wicked uh, yeah. ass. You know what I'm saying? Let me finish. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it. The elect. It's Only a very small number. Keep repeating like this the Lord, elect. Like I said, out. the Lord said, many are called, I'm gonna get that. but I'm gonna few get that. are chosen. It's Matthew 22. Right. And the rest were blinded. The rest were blind. So the Lord put a, uh, he, he put a spiritual, uh, the, the spirit of blindness on them. A spiritual roadblock. Yeah. <laughs> he put a bell on their face. This is perfect scripture. This is uh, Second Chronicles 18 and 7. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, There is yet one man by whom we may acquire of the Lord, but I hate him. <laughs> For he never prophesies good unto me, <laughs> but always evil. But always evil. Yeah, right, because, yeah, that's what he was complaining. So the same thing, people talking is the same. The same always, thing they get back in the day. They like, y'all ain't never saying nothing good. Well, what good is there to say? <laughs> right. Do you, you see any good out here? Right. I when you no see good. when you see viruses and, and infections flourishing, wickedness flourishes and righteousness flourishing. flourishes. Murder, it's, drug it's, use, it's, gangs warfare. He said, there is, a man, there is a man of the Lord that we could acquire, but I hate him. Because he don't never, he, said, he never, I'm going to read it again. He said, and the king of Israel, this is uh, 2 Chronicles 18 and 7. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, there is yet one man by whom we may oh, inquire of the Lord, but I hate him. For he never prophesies good unto me. So he pretty much saying that there is a man of the Lord that we can get for you, but I hate him. <laughs> because he, he, he's saying what what y'all was just saying. He, he, yeah, we don't say nothing good, right? <laughs> so he's saying the same thing y'all said. But we did say some good, but we did. it went one ear right out the right. other. They didn't even pick it up. And, you know what I mean? I but, said the way you're going, the way you're See, this is a manly the thing. Is, or, but the message is for think, men, Why do you think he you hated him? You the message is for men. But, they, okay. they killed the Lord, just, put him on a cross, and put a spear to his side because the way he was speaking to him. They, 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 you know, they that gonna, actually happened. Do you think they're going to do that to you somebody? You know, they actually did that to the Lord. They killed him. I know what they did. Right. What did they do to Stephen? Stone him to death. Why? Because he was cursing fools out. He was cursing right, that but scripture Jesus I wasn't just cursing read. people. No, she was. Well, okay. He okay. was actually beating them up, too. Okay. He, he wasn't Where cursing people. Where did he be? I read the whole book of Matthew. So he did. You, you, you he ain't going to come across. He was people. I got it. He was flipping tables. He made his own whips. Went to the church. I'm going to read this book. Here you go. Check this out. Check this out. He made his own whip. Get Check it. this Let out. Read this, first. Right. this is Second Ezra, nine and one, and he answered me, saying, "The Most High hath made this world for many." Yeah, but yeah, the, now, this world mean America. The, but the Bible says, "Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world." And if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. We need to That's First John two and fifteen. That's scripture. Okay. So okay. We, that's do we, do we he said, "Love answer? not." Is, love that, is that our not. own interpretation? I mean, come on, man. That's quite a mistake. Right. And he answered me, saying, "The Most High made hath made this world for many, but the world to come for a few." Exactly. This be many. There be many created. But few shall be saved. You know? That's because they're rejecting the prophets when they're out here 
I mean, you know, first of all, we out here telling these people. So, what do you hope to profit to people? What is your message? What the message to Lewis on this way. Get right. You've been getting the message for like an hour straight. You, now. Right. The Lord. The, I did. I let me. Okay. Well, let I me mean, put maybe it. You didn't. Let me sum it up oh, for well, you. Well, here. Well, the well, message well, is for well. the world yeah, of well, Israel well. to get right because the world is on its way. The Lord is on his way. I'm not. It's all good. It's like pissing against the wind. That's right. It's coming right back in your face. Right. It don't care. This so, is a bad video. You, 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 can't, you can't teach a woman. That's why Laura said only men will come out here and do this work. A pussy can faggot, piss pussy ass new motherfucker can't come out and do this work. Because all this this um adversity, oh I gotta go now. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta go. go now. I gotta go. You know? It's too much. They, they yelling at me. You know? And like she she didn't get it here this perfect as good. It wasn't she didn't understand But yeah, pe people complain because we talk loud. But the one you call Jesus, he whooped people. He laid hands on people and beat the shit out of them. We ain't touched nobody. Let me get this. Uh, uh, now listen to this. It's the Gospel the of John, the second chapter, and the uh, uh, 12th verse. The Lord don't cuss. He don't hit nobody or nothing. He whooped the shit out of people. Uh, uh, this is John 2, 12. After this, he went down to, uh, to Capernaum. He and his mother and his brethren and his disciples and they continue there not many days. And the Jews Passover was at hand and Jesus went up to Jerusalem and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and doves and the changers of money sitting. That was Nate, that was Nate in his Yeah, that was Nate in the thing of seven. Mm -hmm. and, he, and when he made a scourge of small cords, that's a whip, he made his own custom made whip. And when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them all out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen mm. and poured out the changers' money and overthrew the table. And he said unto them, the sold doves, oh, no. take you... these things hence, make not my father's house a house of merchandise. Oh, you made those scriptures up, didn't you? So the Lord made a whip on it, hitting fools and drove them out of the temple. It like, was get your ass out of the temple. Out of the they, they, they he was hitting the hands, they was trying to block it. You ever, like when your mom hit you, you, you try to block it? Welps on your fingers, man. Yeah, you yeah, lose fingers. For real. That wind was going by, whip going by. So, so the Lord beat the shit out of people. You sound like you ever watched Batman and Robin the cartoon, yeah. and they fighting. Like, he was even, the Lord was even hitting the oxen. The <laughs> He's getting on the ass right. so they leave, you know what I mean? Here you go. Anything that wasn't there. Anything in his vicinity was getting whipped. <laughs> okay, why do you think he made, you don't make a whip and not use it, just brandish it. Like, I'm gonna get you, he was whooping. You know what I'm saying? Let me get this real quick, short and simple. Proverbs 16 and four. The Lord has made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. All right. So, you got to He made him like that, your boy that came up here talking shit. The Lord created him probably just so he could come out here and scoff at us. He made him just to match that prophecy. Yeah, just to match this. Just to go with the prophecy of two thirds. Yeah, two thirds is going to be the two thirds got to be born, too. They gotta, they gotta be born. That's so right. They did, so they can get up with, you know what I mean, match the two thirds of the property. Um, this is a. Uh, we gotta kill some. We going into. Oh, what you got? Go ahead. Um. Yeah, because the Lord ain't no faggot, man. The Lord is a real man. He is not fucking around. Okay, if you get offended by the word fuck or shit, that means you're a faggot. That means you're a bitch. That's what it means. And we ain't gonna speak sweet, soft, nice words. That's the reason everybody's in damn slavery out here, because they all got a soft, weak-ass spirit on them. Get offended by words. Oh, Ow, you hurt my feelings. Stop yeah. saying cuss words. That was just Shut a, up, you faggots. Yeah, that was just a dumbass nigga woman that, you know, you know, she she's a woman. She's not going to stand shit anyway. Woman's emotional. Right, here you, you go. Like, it's a waste of time teaching a woman. Right. You should just try to teach her your phone number. It was a great video because you know what? She's been out here long enough and we read enough scriptures. Why can't she pick up now? And we was bringing out scripture meat. that was pinpointing meat. exactly what was coming out of her mouth. Milk. Man. No, and pretty much we brought out milk. It's still was That a baby sucking on when the baby come in the world and the baby needs that milk. It's easy for that baby to digest that milk and consume right. we it. We wasn't even speaking a parable. That's right. We're speaking plainly. That's right. This is Nehemiah 13 and I'm going to start at 18. Talking about 
the, the prophets ain't, they don't, they're not violent, don't whoop nobody. Oh, that's the one where he's whooping the motherfucker. Yeah, yep, that's it. He's whooping the ass. That's it, 13 and 18. He's out laying hands on you. Yeah. Oh, yeah Nehemiah, uh, did not your fathers uh. thus, and did not our power bring all this evil upon you and upon the city? Yet he bring more wrath upon Israel by profaning the Sabbath. And it came to pass that when the gates of Jerusalem began to be dark before the Sabbath, I commanded that the gates should be shut and charged that they should not be opened till after the Sabbath. And some of my servants set I at the gates that there should no burden be brought in on the Sabbath day. So the merchants and the sellers of all kind of where lodged without Jerusalem once or twice. Then I testified against them and said unto them, why lodge ye about the wall? If ye do so again, I will lay hands on you. You gonna lay hands on them? From that time. What does it mean to lay hands on someone? And they complain about us. It's we ain't hit nobody. We ain't hit nobody. <laughs> Even though we should. Yeah, you like your boy that came up here, that dude that came up here deserved to get his ass whooped. Right, that's right. And if we was in the kingdom, he would, he got hit the ship. He had a that. woman's on him. A woman's, he's probably raised by a woman. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. seen that bitch, that, yep. that, that yep. ogre he got in the car with? Oh, God. That yeah. bitch looked like one of the oh. trolls on Lord of the Rings. You ain't mine. I wanted to say if this was, the, if yeah. this was shit. 2 uh, AD, he would have got his ass whooped. He would have got his ass Torture. Really they they didn't play that shit. You know what I'm saying? I wish he was walking through the motherfucking forest talking shit to some Vikings. You know what I'm saying? Talking shit to some Vikings then. Yeah, he got hit with a goddamn mace. <laughs> right in his face. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, and we'll lay hands on you. Yeah, right. 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 Yeah, right to sanctify the Sabbath day, remember me, O oh my power, Yahweh, concerning Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai, concerning this also, and spare me not according to the greatness of thy mercy. In those days also saw I Jews that had married wives of Ashdod and Ammon and of Moab. And we weren't supposed to marry the wives of the women of the other nation. We can pop them and keep them in concubines, but that's it, we ain't supposed to marry them. And their children spake half in the speech of the Ashdods, and could not speak in the Jews' language. They couldn't even speak no damn Hebrew at all. They could I said damn Hebrew, I didn't mean say that. They couldn't speak no Hebrew at all. They could speak that damn he heathen language though. You know? Yeah, that's like we're cursed today because we can't that's speak. Right. We can't speak fluent Hebrew. That's right. But we study and trying to get it back. So there you go. Yeah, I got a little bit more, just a little bit more. But according to the language of each people, and I contended with them and cursed them and smote he, he, a certain he, of them. He, he cursed people? Yeah. Man, and using curse words? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. And, you, and, and that's what I'm saying, man. Wait a minute, check they, it. They, they, they was, people are lucky that mm -hmm. I can't speak fluid Hebrew. Because mm -hmm. getting mm -hmm. cursed out in Hebrew ain't nothing nice. Oh. That'd be worse. Woo! That'd be worse. That's Woo! what I'm saying. They lucky. Yeah. And they'll be getting cursed out in Hebrew. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And, and two, she bears will come out. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah, we have <laughs> some wild beasts will come out the cut. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Devour you. Check this out. Look. Uh, and plucked off their hair. He was beating their ass so much he pulled some of their hair out. I mean, can you imagine your scout? He pulled off your big scout. He scalped them. That's pretty much what he did. He scalped them. Yeah. Now, this he is a prophet like of the a, Lord. He beat them like a drug. Right, and scalped them. I got another hands-on scripture too. And made them swear by Yahweh, saying, You shall not give yeah. your daughters unto their sons, nor take their daughters unto your sons, or for yourselves. That's the end of that. And so the oh, prophets was whooping the shit out of people. That's right. And you got and you think about it, like you say, it's no stiff neck and rebellious people. You're not going to just Yeah, you're not going to just get into their heads by talking that sweet butter shit. Yes. Israel, Israel, I know you got them up there. They just need to go to Because they're stiff neck. Stiff neck. There's another hands on scripture right here. That's just one of our characteristics of being Israelite. We're hard headed, knuckle heads. Because we're spoiled. I mean, how is it when you ever dealt with a spoiled ass child? 
that's a difficult child to deal with, man. It's spoiled. And that's Israel. We fucking spoiled ass too, but we are children of the most high. We are Israelites. There, there you, you know? Go. Jeremiah 16 and 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers since the Lord. So we out here fishing right now. And they shall fish them. Everybody know the, the old saying, uh, make you fishers of men. Mm -hmm. uh, we out here. That's you know what I'm saying? And after. We're throwing that line out. And you will be catching shit. <laughs> and after. I don't want to catfish anyway. And after. <laughs> yeah, we catching carp, catfish, uh, motherfucking uh, lobster, yeah, lobsters, <laughs> crabs. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. And What's after. Up, will I send for many. Hunters. So soon we're gonna be hunting. We ain't gonna be fishing. We're gonna be hunting. And they shall hunt them from every mountain. Remember what we was talking about before we came out here? And from every yeah. hill. We get that spiritual power. Can you read that again from the book too? Yep. I'll start from the top. Remember when we were talking about the spiritual power, how these even much the missiles, when the missiles drop and everything settled, what yeah. are we going to do? What the fuck? Okay, here you go, bro. Jeremiah 16 and 16, Behold, I will send for many fishers, says the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters. Many hunters. And they shall hunt them. Hunt them. What do hunters do? Right. They kill. From every mountain and from every hill from every mountain and, and out hills. of the holes of the rocks. Remember how they're going to be hiding out in these mountains? That's and really talking about Esau. Stuff. Stuff. We're yeah. be, well, first, well, first we're going to start with the Lord's sanctuary. We're going to kill two thirds and then we're going to go after Esau. We're going to get all the, the elite, all the elite, you know, the so called Illuminati, all them faggots. They all going to mm -hmm. go straight to slavery. That's right. All the, uh, all the, all the politicians, the rulers of the earth, we ain't gonna kill them. They going into slavery. Mm -hmm. We'll kill that little minion. Mm -hmm. I got some love of Jesus. Oh, read the love of Jesus. <laughs> that was it. I got some love of Jesus. That is love, though. Isn't it? That is love. That's right. That's right. Y'all wanna hear about the love of Jesus? Love of Jesus. Revelation right. twenty-one right. and seven. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. And I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But, that's a big but, but the fearful and unbelieving <laughs> and the abominable and the murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake Ooh. with burning with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. And the first death was the flood, which was by water, and the second death is by fire. And that's talking about America getting destroyed in the up and coming thermonuclear war when Russia launches missiles on you, mm -hmm. motherfuckers. Because we pray for this day to come to get these bastards up out of here. Two thirds of these bastards up out of here. Because personally, I'm sick and tired of looking at this. I'm tired of it. I'm sick of it. It is some punishment though. You know, the Lord likes yeah. to fuck with us. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? That's why he threw that weasel at us. Yeah. That, uh, that, that hyena. That, that woman. Yeah, that, that woman. That jackal. He's a damn jackal. <laughs> Here you go. Uh, this is uh, 1 John 3 and 18. My little children, let us not love in word. Let us not love in word. I mean, we ain't coming out here with enticing words and fair speeches. Read that again. 1 John. 3 and 18. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Bro, I love you, man. I love you, man. Yeah, Somebody talking like that too, you better turn up. Run that, up that's the same that's person. That that's the same person or fuck your wife as soon as you get the chance. <laughs> there we go. First John 5 and 3. For this is the love of God. This is the love of God. That we keep his commandments. Keep his commandments. Don't commit adultery. Don't be a faggot. Don't eat pork. Okay? Keep the Sabbath. In America, there's no Sabbath. This country goes seven days a week. No rest. You're all fucking slaves. You know and his commandments are not grievous. The commandments of the Lord is not grievous. It's only grievous to a demon. To an adulterous woman. The adulterous woman is grievous to stop fucking a thousand men a week. To stop drinking nut by the gallon. That's a grievous thing. Adulterous and adulterous. Fuck them death for them both. Yeah, the scriptures say they shall both die. That's right. The adulterer and the adulterer. You come in this truth, man. Do you find out you this is your family? Why we talking This up? is your family. Y'all know ain't no and y'all gonna try and fuck my wife. Hell I already no. know that. Y'all don't, 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 don't even want to be around my wife. Right. With y'all, man. Right. He's right. my brothers. He's my brothers. 
Yeah, I don't, you know? like, I don't even like looking at another man's wife. You know what I'm saying, for real. And she talks to me, I keep it short. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, hi, how you doing? Yeah. Right. Uh, here's another hands-on scripture. Wicked-ass Israel wife. This now, is, uh, yeah, you got some of your friends that they, you, they, they're your fake-ass friends. They'll come and try to hang out with your wife, mm -hmm. trying to watch a movie with her. Sure would. You sure would. I mean? And don't tell, if you, like, y'all young brothers don't interested in girls, don't put that attention of that woman on some other motherfucker that y'all know. Yeah. Cause he's gonna go to her telling her lies about you. Yeah, keep your bitch secret. You know, keep you it a secret. I'll keep yeah. it all to yourself. Yep. When you're pursuing a woman. Oh, you, you know? Cause these are Israelites, some jealous, envious rats. You know? I mean, I can't. I mean, that's the ticket man. Thou shalt not cover that neighbor's wife. That's right. Or that right. neighbor's yep. property. And he specified, he go, he go yeah. into it. Sitting down, yeah. let them sit down with a chicken wine, yeah, liquor, get them yeah. drunk, yeah. Yeah. you know? Talking to them. Buying them a drink. Because they got a hidden motive. They got a hidden motive. You know? They always come. You think your friend coming over to your house to hang out with you? No, he's coming over to, to check out your wife. That's right. That's right. And I've actually known people like that. And they knew when I went home, oh, they, they, they go by the crib. So, so they don't lodge at home. They know I ain't home. They know I'm at work or whatever, man. They was going over there anyway, man. I guess so. I would get a text or a call immediately, man. You know, so-and-so was just here. That's when one of the reasons I cut one of my old friends off. I grew up with, mm -hmm. we were supposed to be homies, you know, since way 20 years. Mm, supposed to be. But every time I talked to him on the phone recently, I always talked about, yeah, I was fucking this bitch, but she was with this dude. Oh. I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, but he doesn't even really care about her. That's a piece of shit. I'm like, that's fucking, that's fucked up, dude. That's a piece of shit. He doesn't have to, I mean, that's that's not, you can't do that. That's what you say. And he's always weird. trying to justify that You're shit. Right. That's Israel, too. He's always like that. That's Looking Israel back, too. always trying to commit adultery. Mm -hmm. Trying to fuck someone else's bitch. And then right. bragging about it. Talking about, man, that's a good pussy. That's an Israel life. Talking about how he ain't hitting it right, so. Oh. He still, ain't hitting the right nowhere. His nut juice is still up in her and shit, man. Here we go, here we go. That, that's what he always say, though. He ain't hitting the right. <laughs> right, right, That's right, what they right. always say. Oh, but you are, huh? Well, you know, that's why if you uh, fuck, a, if you fuck another dude's bitch, you can put the death for that. He'll come after yeah. your ass with a shotgun and blow your goddamn head off. Be like O.J. Simpson. <laughs> what did O.J. Simpson do when he caught his wife cheating on him with Ronald Gold? He stabbed the shit out of them motherfuckers. He, he, yeah. You know how that's a painful way to go, but getting Ooh. stabbed to death, getting shot is easy. You can shank, shank, shank. Oh. You can hear that blood. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? You can hear that just blood squirting out, just getting. So that, that was a beautiful thing right there. It really is, man. <laughs> to a man, it's a beautiful thing. To a real you man. You deserve to get shanked to death. To a real man. Proverbs um, 6 and 32. But whoso committeth adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. Yeah, lacks some serious understanding. Cause you know, your spirit even tells you something wrong. You know? Yeah, you know it's wrong because you gotta do it in secret. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> he that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. A wound and dishonor shall he get. A wound. That's Man, I like that wound. word. Wound. Yeah, a grievous wound. <laughs> <laughs> and his reproach shall not be wiped away. For jealousy, like what he was just explaining to you. For yeah, jealousy. Cause, yeah, because when uh, someone cheats on you, your woman cheats on you, that's some serious. You get jealous. And you want to kill. Oof. You see nothing but blood. You get super strength, man. I'm a, I had a bitch cheat on me, uh, like, damn near, what, 10 years ago? I can't remember. Mm -hmm. I still want to kill that bitch and the dude she did it with. Still. Yep, yep, to this yep, day. Yep. I ain't forgot. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. For jealousy is the rage of a man, therefore he will not spare in the day of vengeance. He will not spare. He will not regard any ransom. No, it ain't no. Oh, yeah, ain't no, ain't, ain't All no, you see is blood. There's no reasoning, no di no discussions. Oh, O.J. Simpson had millions of dollars. <laughs> Did he give a fuck? No, hell no. He got Johnny Cochran. Neither will be rest content, though thou givest many gifts. So you can pay the motherfucker off to leave you alone. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I'll give you this. I'll do that. I'll do this. Leave this dude. Man, you gone, man. You out of there, man. You know, and justifiably so. You're out of there. Yeah. Just, sorry, let me get that. Let me get that. Uh, you going to? Yeah. That's hot though. You go home, son. Never mind. Yeah. You better go.
Hey, what's that what? one? Uh, I ain't gonna read uh, my pocket right, like I should. I be forgetting shit. You see what? So I got brothers right here with you. You see what? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, numbers 5 and 29. Yeah. This is the law. This is what I'm still wondering what you were talking about, jealousy, bro. This is the law of numbers? jealousy. Yeah, yeah, in the book of Numbers. Yeah. When a wife goeth aside to another instead of her husband and is defiled. Let, let me read it again. This is the law of of jealousy so jealousy is righteous a righteous thing to be jealous of your wife being with another man you know when a wife goes aside to another instead of her husband and is defiled that means defiled me he popped her yeah because that's defiled you know yeah. the man's nut goes mm -hmm. up beside your wife right that's that's defiling or when the spirit of jealousy cometh upon him because yeah it's a spiritual thing because you know because when the other man uh, sees inside your woman, you can sense it. It's something spiritual. Mm -hmm. The Lord will put that spirit of jealousy. You can tell. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to have no proof. That's right. You can just feel through the spirit and know for a fact that she's cheating on you. That's right. That's right. Well, when the spirit of jealousy cometh upon him, and he be jealous over his wife, and shall set the woman before the Lord, and the priest shall examine, and the priest shall execute upon her all this law. You know? So the Lord is with that. Chop them, stop, chop her head off and chop his head off. Yeah, they but both. first of all, he gonna die before her. So she gonna watch what she, you know, this food. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? We gonna chop, if, if I catch a man, hey, let me catch somebody with my wife, man. I don't give a fuck who you are. Let me catch somebody with my wife. Man. And that's why even in America, even this is the kingdom of Satan, if you catch your wife in the act of adultery, you will not get the full time for murder. You know that? That, that, what's that, that runner, that athlete? He's a track and field star. He had fake legs. Oh, yeah, he yeah. killed his bitch. Yeah, yeah. yeah they hit him with another charge thing. But he's, he, but he, he's getting off on of, uh, some mm -hmm. shit. They hit him with some dumb bullshit, though. But they, st they yeah. still, you ain't supposed to get no time at all. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, yeah. you know what I mean? But yeah. this is the kingdom of Satan. Yeah, that's right, that's but right. Even the devil won't give you the full time because they know. It's a rage. It's something to it's do with rage. rage. Something to do with rage. A jealous rage. Yeah. yeah. You can't you control yourself. It. They hit you with something though, cause it's the devil. They gotta lock yeah, you up with devil. something. But they know. They give you, you get less time. But Israelites, man, we get that full rap. That's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? We just gotta deal with this kingdom until the Lord takes it out. Until the Lord takes it down with violence. That's all, you know. I wanna be more specific about it. With violence, which is going to go with violence. Now, nu now Russia's been testing nuclear missiles. They even posted a video. If you got Yahoo, you go on Yahoo. They got a video of a uh, two, two, um, two. I forgot what kind of call them missiles, but they, they, they. You know how a lot of times during World War II, the battleships had to be facing sideways toward each other, so the missiles or whatever their projectiles was more accurate. They hit this ship, this giant ship, nose forward, miles away. These missiles went. Man, the videos on the on the internet right now. They, man, they went through. The ship and tore this just totally obliterated. That's just like the book of uh, uh, we were reading that last week. Uh, Joel, when it said they shot that the missile, oh, yeah, it's not that gonna rank, and all that. Break, yeah, that's bad, too. Ain't no stop, that's bad, man. Ain't no the, stop, Lord is, man. the Lord is preparing America's downfall. And there was a it was, there was the Pope just came out, the Pope just came out and said World War Three is imminent, pretty Woo! much. Yep. And I was just reading this news today that uh, there's people in the mainstream news saying World War III is imminent. There's no stopping it. Ain't no, that's right. It's coming. It's Actually, happen. it's already happening right now. Yeah, it's, you know, it's just escalating yep. worse yep. and yeah, worse. It seems like it's taking forever, but it, it takes time because they've been, they been had their chess pieces in place. They just waiting for the, somebody to make a move. Yep, oh, yep. Vladimir Putin just came out today or yesterday, and he said he could easily Go, uh, he could take over, I think it was like seven NATO cities in two days. In two days, two they days. Said, I could take your ragged shit over in two days if I wanted to. Yeah, because you know, um, Russia had what they call uh, those Iskander missiles that they bad as hell, man, and they're, the speed of them is just unheard of. Before your 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 uh, rate, when you before your radar locks onto them, these missiles is already too damn close for 
for you to have the fifth defense. And even if they did lock on and their and, their, and whatever missile defense you have locks on these missiles, the instrument missiles got a got a sensor in them that it can it can see if you're locked in on them, and it'll juke, it'll move. The missile is a, a change. You know that's crazy. Just it's just mind boggling. The missile would do a, 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 a Eric Dickerson. <laughs> well, what's modern day? Everybody, you, oh, young brothers. Oh, no, Adrian Peterson. AJ, do an Adrian Peterson. <laughs> we get an Adrian prop out. <laughs> right, right, right. I'm old school. I like Eric Dickerson. Oh, yeah. Oh, Barry Sanders. Like yeah, Barry Sanders. Right, right. So you say you, 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 say you can't wait, too, bro. Oh, yeah. Both that. Get out here Texas with us, man. Get out yeah. here. <laughs> Read some of these scriptures with us, man. Because only, oh, only a person in right mind is going to be thinking like that. You know what I'm saying? Only a person in their right mind is going to be praying for, man, who in the fuck want, you got a woman and you got children, oh, that woman can go downtown and behind your back and find your child support, come tell your ass and then throw your ass out. Yeah. And, 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 this, and this goddamn devil will support it. Lock you up. And then you can't even see your kids. It's right. <laughs> Motherfucker, you'll never see your kids again. It will make it seem like you a bad guy, man. Yep. Yeah, nigga, you ain't never gonna see your kids again. And the whole again. time she raising him, talking about your daddy ain't shit. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yep. Motherfucker. That's a terrible, man, that's a terrible world, man. And there these people are some terrible, hypocritical, cr hypocritical right. ass people, man. Damn, like, that's the spirit, because then, they, here we go. Ecclesiastes 2 and 17. Therefore, I hated life, because the work that is wrought under the sun is grievous. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's grievous out here. The American, the, the American judicial system, the Babylon. American economic system. Babylon and Great. Babylon, that's right, that's right. This is ridiculous, man. This only a, only, only a, a, a higher power can do this to a badass nation like us. Put devils and cowards and weaklings above a badass people like us, man. And only the Lord can end it. Put that, an end to this. And that's that's yeah. right. That's right. That's we, right. You, you, we ain't gonna put it into it by fighting, bro. Holy Lent even said that. Had his little letter. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said the only way this is going to get broke is a divine. What do you say? Intervention. Divine intervention. A divine intervention comes. Yeah. Let me get the. Uh, let he me even said that. that. Hey, this is a great beast. You know what I'm saying? If you think about it, it was a divine intervention for them to break us down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you yeah, think about it, he had to what? Strengthen up three nations against him. Yeah, because yes, no well, yeah, because when King David and King Solomon was in power, Israel had like over a million man army. Yeah. They was bad. They was unstoppable. That's right. Bunch of mighty men. Here you go. This is Second Thessalonians one and six. See, it is a righteous thing with the Most High Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you, and to you who are troubled, rest with us. Now you ain't. Uh, uh, he's not saying rest with that name Jesus, some Greek name Jesus Christ, or uh, go go rest with Allah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that ain't rest. <laughs> that ain't rest. <laughs> the rest is that Yahweh, Bahishim, Yahweh Shah. That's the only name we can be saved from, be saved under. This is coming, bro. I can't wait, man. It's coming, it's coming. And it's fastly approaching now. Three, four years ago, we can see when things weren't moving as fast as they are now. Things is moving, it's picking up now. Shit is picking up now. Now they can't help but to mention it every day on the news that they got differences with Russia, man. Israel is going, well actually, USA is, they're talking about going into Syria now. They're talking about going out to Syria now, man. I can't wait though. They need to just do it now. Let me get a missile scripture there. Because that's the spirit. Let's see they search. They go to the Greek sorority. They they get praises to Zeus Apollo. they probably like Athena because they're girls. Our teacher in a uh our teacher in our principal or uh what's it call it? Sorority. Yeah, sorority. That's what they said. That's the female version. Yes. And they actually, they gotta, they gotta sing praises sure. and take an oath to the Greek gods. That's the name of the butt. To the Rich devil. Yeah. To the yeah. devil. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they got rituals. They got hymns, the songs, the shit they sing. Here you go. Second Peter 3 and, I'm just gonna start at 7. Read down to uh, 12. Um, but the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word, are kept in store reserved unto fire 
Ooh. against the day of judgment that and perdition of ungodly men. That's that lake of fire. Uh, we was reading earlier in that's Revelation. That, that's worthy of a class. Yeah, that's it. Oh, for that, real. Yeah, that's something. That's Shit. right. Yeah, that's worthy of an amen, hallelujah. But, beloved. They, they, they never say amen to that in the church. <laughs> they never read that, you know what I mean? Oh, right, right, right. Everybody's doing that poetry, all feel good religion, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah man, it's a feel good. Called crack house ministry, man. Oh, yeah, with Cleveland. Yeah, it's <laughs> crazy, <laughs> Like, he got so nervous that I was about to read an article and break down his whole church, man. Like, he got so scared. He walked past me like three times, like, what's that in your hand? Wow. What's that in your hand? What's wow. That in your hand? Straight I don't up. Want you, I don't want you reading that up in here. I'm wow. like, what? You afraid that I'm going to say something that will, like, really get the, your congregation to leave and see you be a liar? Yeah, there you he, go. He, he that's a hustle. That he, he You're fucking with his money. Yeah. Exactly. That's, yep. what, that's what it really comes that's down 501C3 yep. down. Yep. 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 There you go. He yep. teaches him for filthy lucre's sake. Yep. That's yeah. prosperity. That's what he's trying to do. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Yep. That's, that's, that's why is, that, why is everybody in their church wearing pants? Like, why do females wear pants in there, you know? They out of order. Out of fucking order. Exactly. Out of fucking order, man. You can't tell the difference yep. between a Christian church and a, uh, and a strip club. It's how you, they exposed. It's how you and Timothy that women ain't supposed to be wearing the pearls and the costly array. You yep. open the church with women makeup. Uh, they got the biggest earrings this guy thing big. Ooh, yeah, and they great. married still tempting men. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The wife, the That's granddaughter. You know what I'm saying? They wear that tight shit, shit too, man. They got 20 braces on each arm. There ain't nothing right they to wear them, They wear uh, their favorite church, heels. Man. Yeah, they got them high heels, make their booty stick up in there. Yeah, get that horse leg going. Yeah. Harlan houses. That's what's that, Jerry? Yeah, Harlan houses. Harlan houses. Harlan houses. Here you go. Um, but beloved, be not ignorant.